Let's use the image of an apple to represent the purpose of a change process. If we want to harvest apples, we need to plant an apple tree, not a peach tree. Uh, so the second factor of resistance to change is planting the right tree, and we call it key behaviors. Let me give you an example. Many companies want to improve their sales, and uh, a typical approach is providing sales training. But through our research with a recorded mystery client, we found out that the issue is almost never about general sales techniques. It emerged that each company has specific and systemic flaws in the sales process, uh, which can explain why, for example, salespeople have a hard time to deal with certain objections or they cannot in increase the cross-selling or why there is no use of discounts. If we don't target those flaws, we cannot expect the improvement we want. Generally, employees have an overall understanding of what they should do, but often they miss crucial details. Telling salespeople uh, that they should ask questions in order to understand the client's needs is great advice, in theory. Because in practice, the kind of information you need in finance are completely different from those you need in, let's say, uh, fashion retail. So the key question here is, do your salespeople have a clear and complete uh, list of information they should gather? So going back to the first metaphor, uh, just like planting the right tree, key behaviors are those targeted and specific actions we need to put in place in order to yield the result we are aiming for.